Good morning, CBC family and friends. Thanks again for tuning in today. Hope this devotion is an encouragement to you. Uh, I want to talk to you about a desire to be with the Father. Do you desire to be with your Heavenly Father? Do you desire to spend time with Him? Do you desire to have His presence in your life? Just a thought for us today to think on. I want to share with you a scripture this morning out of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 through 13. It says, When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Are you looking forward to spending time with God today? Are you looking forward to having his presence in your life? There's an illustration of uh, way back in the day when they really invented the first trains. It was a drastic improvement in transportation. Uh, when it came to speed, now obviously it nowadays doesn't hold to our modern transportation. Fact is, it was pretty uncomfortable. Uh, the smoke, the noise, a uh, lot of movement on the train, a lot of rattle back then. Uh, but it was just a better way to get around, and, but it could be uncomfortable. Uh, there's a story of a little boy who was traveling a long journey across the country to uh, visit his father all by himself on the train. It's in a, times have changed, haven't they? I don't think you can do that anymore. Uh, but as he was traveling, uh, an older lady saw him and just was kind of watching him as he sat and uh, rode this train just hour after hour after hour. And she began to have a conversation with him and said, You know, son, I see you're all by yourself. I see you're on this journey. She said, are you getting tired? And the boy just quickly replied. He said, no. He said, I'm not tired at all. He says, I am looking forward to seeing my father. See, that little boy was on a destination, had a destination in mind that gave him hope. That anticipation of being back with his dad, being back with his father, uh, made that train ride just go by. Never gave it a thought. You know, in our lives, are we like that little boy? Are we looking for the presence of God in our lives? You know, if you're a child of God today, you and I know that the moment we receive Christ as our Savior, that our eternal life started as well. But folks, we don't have to wait till we get to heaven to be in the presence of God. We don't have to wait till we get to heaven to spend time with Him, although it's going to be a lot different. We're going to have that glorified body, that glorified mind. We're going to have all of eternity to be in his presence. But you and I, even today, can be in his presence. You and I can know that God is walking with us. God is beside us. God is guiding us. But that's for you and I. We need to be seeking him out. We need to be in his word. We need to be spending time with him, whether it be in prayer or prayer just meditating over what his word has for us for the day. You see, God's presence is always there, but are we seeking it out? You know, the scripture says in Psalm 16, verse 11, Thou wilt show me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy. You want a life of joy today? Spend time with God. Find time today to just get alone with him, for a little bit of time and remain in his presence throughout the day. You know, we would say that if you're a child of God and, and there's just not an urgency or there's not even a, a desire to be in God's presence, then there may be something wrong in your spiritual life. So get that straightened out today. Listen, we're going to spend all eternity with our God and we're going to be in his presence forever and ever. But as we're here on this earth, let's be sure that we're spending time with him right now. Let's be growing in him right now, knowing that he loves us, 
and he's taking care of us every day. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, that we can come and spend this time and, Lord, just be encouraged by your word. We are looking forward to that day. We can spend all of eternity with you. But, God, even right now, we long to have your presence in our lives. We know that you are with us. We know that you will never forsake us. I think often, sometimes, we just don't seek you out. We don't spend the time like we should, wanting and desiring that fellowship with you. I just pray each one today would receive a blessing from this devotion, Lord. Just speak to their hearts. Help them to know that you're with them, you're comforting them, you're guiding them, you're strengthening them, and that they can sense and feel your presence right now today. Bless each one, Lord. Give us a great, great day today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. A desire to be with the Father. Is that your desire today? Don't wait till you're in heaven. Spend time with him right now today. Have a great day. God bless you this morning.